Hey guys, Shane here with Tripod Tech, and today we're going to show you how to make your own Fusion Drive on a Mac. Here we have a 60 gig OCZ Agility 3 solid state drive, and here we have replaced our Super Drive with a 250 gig hard drive, and we're going to fuse them together show you how to do that and run some benchmarks. So here we booted into the installer using a USB 3 flash drive that I formatted using Lion Disk Maker. Handy little utility, I'd suggest picking that up. And we are going to use the terminal to make our Fusion Drive. And I have this running on an external monitor so you can see what I'm doing without you seeing my hands on the laptop so I'll just have to drag the windows over there. So we want to start with disk util list and find out the identifier of our drives. Here we have our 60 gig solid state drive is disk 0 and our 250 gig hard drive is disk 1. So make a note of what yours are and we'll carry on here. Do disk util cs create fusion disk 0, disk 1, and again use your respective disk numbers. And this is going to create a core storage logical volume group. Doesn't take too long. And then run disk util cs list. And here's our logical volume group. We want to copy the identifier from here. And then here we want to type in disk util core storage with a capital S, create volume with a capital V, paste in our identifier JH, JHFS plus, the name of our volume, we're going to call ours Macintosh Fusion and the size. We're going to go 300 gig. Enter and let that run through and we are done with the terminal so exit out of there and we'll go into disk utility and you can see here is our newly created drive 300 gig capacity. Let's go ahead and reinstall Mountain Lion on there. And we will skip past this so you don't have to watch all this boring stuff happen. Here we're going to test the startup speed. We have the 5400 RPM hard drive in this 2012 13-inch MacBook Pro. The Fusion Drive setup in this also 2012 13-inch MacBook Pro. And a 512 gig Vertex 4 SSD in this early 2011 17 inch MacBook Pro. Let's fire them up on one, two, three. And these are going to do nothing more than just auto log into OS 10. And there, surprisingly, the Fusion Drive beat the Vertex 4 by a couple seconds. And as suspected, the hard drive is still thinking about starting up. And there, the hard drive just finished loading OS X. Here we're going to run the Black Magic disk speed test on all three of these and see what kind of read and write speeds we get.
We'll let them run through a couple times. And we are running on the 5 gigabyte test. It looks like the traditional hard drive is getting average write speeds around high 50s, very low 60s, and the same with the read. The Fusion drive is getting a little bit higher write speeds with mid 70s, 74, 76 ish, and pretty decent read speeds in the 170s, 180 range. And the solid state drive. Write speeds up over 400, 430-ish, and read speeds right around that 430 as well. So wrapping things up here, this Fusion drive is an awesome alternative to the traditional hard drive and a way cheaper alternative to a mass storage SSD. A 512 gig SSD is going to run you around 500 bucks, where a setup like this is closer to 150 or so. The, uh, the main disadvantage is that you have to lose your combo drive, but for people like us, that was not a disadvantage. If we need a drive, we can use an external, but most of the time we don't. So uh, if you have any questions about this, we'll post the terminal commands you need in the description of the video. Otherwise, hit us up in the comments and please like and subscribe. Thanks.